BlackBerry.com. Hey everyone, Ryan here with CrackBerry.com and looking at the Cooklet application where you can get recipes, look at directions, shopping lists, timers and whatnot. There's a lot of different functions in this application so we'll go through it here. So essentially what this does is if you have a free Cooklet account uh, you can sync up with your, with your account and look at anything as far as what your favorite recipes are. You can search through the application and choose the favorites that you want to see and there's a lot of different search options you can look at so right now you have the main menu you can see the best rated or best rated recipes where you can see the top five five star ratings you can always go into more we'll show you that in a second also the recently added what was ad added by fellow cooklet foodies or users we have the quick pick option where if you're in a pinch you want to know what you want to make for a certain meal and you only have a limited amount of time you can use that to get suggestions and also inspirations where you can scroll through and look at some of the most savory meals you've ever witnessed and hopefully taste now if you look at the drop down menu as well you have a couple of these options again the quick pick the inspirations you also have a multi timer a unit converter cookbooks and the shopping list Okay, so we'll have a quick look at the best rated. So you can go through. If we tap on it, you actually see the recipe. So this is one of the top rated ones. So it'll show you the image, the name, the prep time, in this case 15 minutes, and the difficulty is easy. It has all the ingredients and the measurements here, and also the step by step guide. And you can choose to add it to your favorites, or you can add it to the shopping list. So I'll just go ahead. We'll go ahead and we add it to the favorites. It'll give you the status up here so it has been added to the, my favorite recipe cookbook. But we'll actually look at the best rated option here. So we go in, it'll do its thinking, and it'll show us the, the top five. You can go through, you can see there's about 296 uh, pages you can look at. So each one gives you the the name, who was, who was the author. Um, you know, it shows how many users have tried it. In this case, for this one, it's one. You can see the time and difficulty rating. Now it's hard to see on the screen here, but you can see different sorting methods. You can sort by rel relevancy, rating, difficulty, time, active time, date, and name. So let's go back and we'll look at, since recently added is very similar to best reader, we'll look at the quick pick. So let's say I want to look at, say something for dinner and I want to make it say within 15 minutes. So you click on go, it'll start sorting through and it'll show you again more options within that time frame uh, as far as for that meal too. So it's a great way to find a recipe if you're, like as I mentioned before, if you're in a pinch. And inspiration. So again, from here you can look, scroll through, salivate, dream, crave uh, from here. And then you click on it and it'll go to the recipe or you can click on more and it'll give you much 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 more and as you can see each of these pages you can scroll through so if you want to just want to go nuts mix and match choose different ones it's all up to you and I'll go over to actually actually you know what let's grab this one here and that's gonna let's start cooking as soon as this loads up okay so chocolate dessert with candied fruits not healthy but hey let's start going here so we click on start cooking and as you can see you can go through the different steps as we've seen with other applications so what we want to do is want to show off something really neat with the front facing camera you'll probably see the camera in the in the view here so we go to activate motion the sensor okay and here we go there's a nice little light bulb and what you do is you can see a hand here so let me see if I put my hand here it should pick it up and then you're able to drag it over and you can go on to the next step there we go and you want to go back you can do the same as well it's a little sensitive and you got to be careful you don't have any other objects in the in the shot so if you sit here with your head in the way 
sometimes it'll pick up your head. So if you want to try and use your head, just you might look like an idiot, but hey, it's all up to you, right? So we'll close this off. And we're going to go look at a couple other quick options here. So we'll look at the multi-timer. Now we'll make sure that the volume's turned up. So you can get this. So from here you can do up to three different timers and you can enter a name if you wanted to. So you just tap on that. So we'll just forego that for now. And then you can click on the time. So it's, and it's just like a flip clock. So you can go through and choose a time. So we'll say we'll do two seconds and we we'll click on play to start it. So you can hear that lovely bell saying the timer's up. So we'll just stop that. And as I mentioned, you can do different timers. So say we'll set, one, set this one for six, set this one for say nine or eight seconds, and we'll do both. Now they don't have uh, different alarms on here, so it's going to be the same one playing. You can tell that skip shows there's another timer in place. So if they had more than one alarm, that would be great, but they don't. And then we'll look at the converter. So you can go through, there's different types. You can go through water, potato, flour, sugar, and whatnot. So you can choose if you have one pound of sugar, it'll go through and show what the different measurements are. So if you ever want to convert, that's a quick way to do it. And then we're going to go to cookbooks. This is another neat feature. So this will show anything as far as your favorite cookbooks, your favorite recipes, um, any recipes I've uploaded, which I haven't. Now keep in mind, if you really want to manage this, you go to the Cooklet website. You can upload your own images for your cookbook covers. Um, you can edit the introduction, things like that. You can't do that on the application, but at least you can view it. But just to give you an idea, I'll show you the, the holiday recipes here. So when you click on that, show the title, it'll show that there's 88 recipes within this and you can click to open and it's, it's animated so it'll go through. You can choose uh, the different chapters so each chapter is more of a recipe. You can click on the introduction and it'll go through some information and then you can click on the index which is alphabetically all the recipes and again you can go through say we'll click on the almond soup you can read the information again um, you can add the shopping list and add to your favorites and as you can see you can swipe through back and forth uh, looking at the different recipes. We're going to close this book for now and show you again up here would be your recipes, you know, any of your favorites. So I have six recipes here. Anything from your friends is all listed. And last but not least would be the shopping list. So if you've picked ones to add to your shopping list, they'll show up here. They give you three different options as far as how to look at your list. So this one right now is set by recipe. So you can see all the ingredients for this recipe, the measurements, and you can go through and you can see all the different. So I have two recipes set up here. So I have zucchini muffins and I have a chickpea soup. You can also do it by category. So again, you have dairy, fruits and vegetables, loose products, and you can also go alphabetical. Now, if you look at the legend here, Right now these are checked as I have it, so you can go through, if you check your coverage, you don't have it, you just tap on that and it's grayed out to show that you need to buy it. The yellow here, you can go ahead and edit, so you can choose the quantity, you can, mo you can modify the units, you can modify the name. And if you don't need it at all, you don't want to have that ingredient in there, you click on the red one and it'll delete it. And you can also add new ingredients too and you can also then clear the shopping list or synchronize. This is a very, very handy app to have whether you are a novice in the kitchen like I am or not. And you can get it for free, the account is free, and you can pick this up from Blackberry App World.